Elio guys and welcome back hopefully everyone's doing well out there today as the title of this video has shown you guys it's basically about the new version of Shahrazad so if you're new to the game Shahrazad now has a limited version of herself notice I said limited with like air quotes because obviously limited doesn't mean that this is the only time that you can get her it just means that she's going to reoccur just not very frequently if that makes any sense here but yeah she has her uh, primal festival going on I haven't checked out her stats or anything yet because I wanted to share that with you guys so let's slide over here and hopefully you haven't spent your gems yet I'm sure people have already because they've seen the Astro Minor like Elio I don't have time for you I'm about to go I'm about to go over here and do what I have to do but to the people that are you know kind of in suspense of whether they should spend or not uh, let's figure this out together so let's go ahead and find the fire version of her first it's just odd that we have like another nat 5 like there's two different Shahrazads. I understand Miho and even Saren because they were nat 3s slash nat 4s but just two of the same nat 5s under the same name I don't even know. She should have just been a skin and they could have made this a whole, a whole new Astramon. But anyways, we're here and she exists. So let's go and check her out. So starting off with Fire Shahrazad, who is a balance type. Uh, she's coming in with 31k HP, 3.4k attack, and then 3k defense. I mean, it's solid for what it is, of course, if you can pull her, that is. But let's take a look at the skills because no matter how good your stats are, if your skills are garbage, doesn't even matter so three star skill is going to be full buff breaker 90 percent chance and then for the five star skill lethal strike this is obviously just towards the apophis without a doubt uh i mean full buff breaker does have its usage in pvp too so you could in theory bring your astromon in there for pvp but with an aoe if i'm reading that correctly for her active skill I don't know why you would bring an aoe lethal striker into pvp when you're just bit off a single target because i don't know that many people running I don't know triple or quad defense aggressors don't be that guy I'm sure that guy exists though but yeah this seems to be pretty much geared towards Apophis I want to say there's what is it Glinda or another Ashramon that has full buff breaker maybe I'm thinking of fire Miho but we can check that out after so anyways uh, taking a look at the skill books for full buff breaker uh, she does get a 20% damage increase and it looks like it goes up to 100% chance okay and then lethal strike also receives a 15 wait hold on my math's wrong 25% damage increase I'm over her math and I was like 15 that's a little bit too small if that's already 15 but yeah it's 25% here so definitely uh, Apophis there's someone else it's not a serial is it Glinda? No, they, okay, she has it on her five star skill. I don't know why they both have SP Siphon on the freaking. I don't know. Okay, yeah. So, this is more. The fire version of Midsummer Miho is more kind of, I guess, defensive base, even though defense down doesn't really do anything. It's mainly just for the full buff breaker. And this is just a more uh, advantageous version of her. I'm down with that. I think if you are a big contender in terms of the Apophis, that this is an Asher Mine that you could actually put to use because it's always nice having a full buff breaker that can also do damage. And I forgot to cover her leader skill here too. Critical boost. It boosts up uh, your allies critical hit rate. Not that big of an issue. It's a okay skill. Kind of drops off fairly quickly, especially with other Asher Mine. I think, what, what was it? Yeah, no, who has the whole crit rate up thing? But, I mean, it is what it is. If you pull a variant, flex on them. If not, it's definitely not like a game breaker if she's not variant. But let's go ahead and slide over here to the water one next. Alright, next up we have the water version of the limited uh, Primal Festival version of Shahrazad, uh, who is a tank type. And Shahrazad is coming in with 44k HP. Oh my god, am I reading that correctly? 2.1k attack? I mean, I understand she's a tank type, but my whole brain is like nat 5, 2.1k attack stat. Oof. And then a 2.8k defense stat. I feel like that defense stat should be a little bit higher, especially if you're quote unquote limited. Like, I need some kind of spice to go in here with these stats. This just isn't doing it. It's pretty, I would say, pretty basic here. But let's take a look at the skills. So, 3 star skill, 100% chance to inflict 3 types of sap for 1 turn. Um, that seems very familiar to another Astramon. Is that, is it Dark Arthur? even though it's on this 5 star skill and then for the 5 star skill resistance down 100% chance to reduce the enemy's resistance for 2 turns yeah this one's that you basically this one is basically you pull it and you're just like wow thank you 
there's literally plenty of other sappers available in this game especially in the whole water tree i mean we have water sea star i dunk on water yuki but if you want to use water yuki you have her what is there uh water miho who used to be the greatest of all time until sea star got that buff yeah this is you pull it and you're probably going to feed it to something else because sap is good but if this is limited, that means players won't have access to this Astromon, so I'm not going to tell you to build something that you have a limited amount of and may or may not ever see, I guess, for the rest of this year. She'll, def she'll definitely come back next year, but yeah, very meh at this point. So, Sap does receive a 20% damage boost and goes up to two turns, fully booked up. Keep in mind, this is Nat 5 books, not Nat 4 or Nat 3. And then Resistance Down also receives a 20% damage boost and it goes up to, what was that, three turns? Nah, just hard pass, man. Hard pass. Alright, and then next up, we have the wood version of Scheherazade, the limited Primo Festival, Primo Festival kind. Just FYI here, and she is an attacker type coming in with nearly 30k HP, 3.8k attack, and then 2.4k defense. Mm. I mean, it is honestly more towards the balanced territory with the whole HP and defense distribution, and her attack is fine, even though she is a wood astromon, so let's go ahead and see what she has in store for us. Uh, so for the 3 star skill, SP Siphon, 40%. I would tell you straight off the bat, anything above 30, at least in one man's opinion, even 35, I think, is like the sweet spot for SP Siphon. Once you get higher than that, yeah, it's still good, but anything past 30, in my opinion, is good. So even, not even take a look at her books for that whole side, pray to the gods you don't get that side. I mean, 40% SP Siphon is already smiley face gaming, in my opinion. And then for the 5 star skill, she has Puncture. Um, obviously, if you're new to the game here, Puncture ignores all of the defense of an Astromon outside of their gems. So if an Astromon has no defense gems on them, their defense will be shredded because it's just going off of their base defense, as the skill right here says, and it's used for wave clearers. However, this is a bit awkward because SP Siphon and Puncture don't really facilitate usage together because you want to get that SP to go into Puncture, just spam Puncture until the enemy passes away, not prevent other Astromon on the, you know, on the opposite team, let's say in a PvP situation, from not being able to do their moves, but you can't really do your moves either because you're just not getting enough SP to go into your 5-star skill. So, bit weird. I mean, you could definitely still throw her on a Siphon set because with a 3.8k attack set, it's still pretty chunky, but I don't know. That's just a weird combination. There's nothing that really comes to mind. I mean, she does have utility to do damage, but the whole kit doesn't really facilitate her to do damage. She's in between crowd control and wanting to be DPS. So the jury is out on this one. That's all I can say here. But let's take a look at these skill books. So SP Siphon uh, does receive a 25% damage boost and goes up to 45%. Like I said before, 40 is already overkill. Uh, Puncture does get a 20% damage boost as well and goes up to 100%. That would be cool and fine and dandy and all if you could get that to go in the right tree of that skill of the skill books. However, she's not really a wave clearer. I mean, yes, yeah, she is a wood mom of Puncture, but don't we have like, well, is it Artemis? I think it's Artemis that also has Puncture. It's just weird champ to me, honestly, just bizarre. That's all I can see at this point in time. So next up here, we do have the light version of Scheherazade, the limited version, of course, attacker type as well. So hopefully we have some spice here because mainly the, like the whole Primal Festivals is always towards the light and dark and never just the RGB here. But uh, she's coming in with 31k HP, uh, 3.9k attack, that's pretty spicy, and 2.7k defense. So this is the stat distribution I was looking for uh, versus what we got with the wood one. I felt it was a little bit lacking, just a little bit off, but it turns out they were holding back for the life version. So stats look good, but let's take a look at those freaking skills. So 3 star skill, 100% chance for shock for one turn. Not my favorite, but it does get the job done as long as it sticks. Uh, and then for the 5 star skill is going to be Predator, which increases damage dealt by 60% right off the bat. So no skill books or anything. That is pretty chunky. That is... I, I'm down with that. 100% down with that. So she not only has ability to do crowd control with a little bit of defense down, kind of thrown in there with the whole shot going on, but Predator at 60%. That's smiley face gaming for sure. So 
definitely more so of a PvP mod. I mean, you could technically use her as a wave clear, but at this point in time, if you just began the game, what are your chances of getting her and actually using her? And if you've been around the block in terms of the game for a while, you already have wave clears. So I would honestly say just PvP slash clan versus clan. Um, there's nothing else that really comes to mind, um, at least at this point in time. So yeah, I mean, for what it is though, I'm actually surprised. Like, they had a chance to goof this up, but it turns out that they didn't. But anyways, uh, Shock does receive a 20% damage boost and goes up to two turns when fully booked. 100% worth it. And then Predator receives a whopping 25% damage increase as well, and that is a 60% Predator. Like, I would be baffled if it went up to 65 or even 70, but finally, at an Astromon, if I somehow get books for this specific baby girl i could actually put books into and pray that it works out i'm not going to say that she's going to like replace any team compositions or anything like that but if you pull her i don't see why you shouldn't use her especially with that 60 percent predator so yeah she does get a thumbs up in my book for sure all right and then last but not least we have the dark version of the limited version of shahrazad who is also an attacker type plenty of attacker types up in here man wow so the dark version's coming in with 32k hp 4k attack and then at about 2.7k defense so very similar to the light one just keep in mind the light one has that kind of built-in innate higher crit rate so she's easier to kind of get on a ruin set and then the dark one has the higher crit damage so when they crit especially on a ruin set they're gonna hit like a butt cheek on a stick so let's go and take a look at the stats and uh, see if she's worth it or not so Three star skill, 100% chance to restore 30% of her own SP when attacking. This is great because with her doing her three star skill multiple times, which it shouldn't take more than a couple, that's going to lead over here to her five star skill, which congratulations. We have another puncture. So two of these limited edition uh, Primo Festival mons have puncture, even though we've had other like newer skills uh, brought to the table here. It's... I will kind of reserve that here for the end. So, morale boost and puncture. That sounds a lot like someone that we know already. Uh, that also, I believe, has a Primo Festival and also does the same thing. And I believe his name is... We're going to take a look at the skill books first. So, if you're new to the game, of course, wave clear. That's pretty much it. I mean, you can bring puncture into PvP, but the whole puncture meta for PvP is like four years too late so basically just wave clear which don't underestimate a wave clear however the issue once again that stems from this is that this is limited why would i tell you to invest in this when there's other wave clears that you could basically pull at any given time not this ashramon in particular here but let's take a look at the skills or the skill books of the skills if i can uh talk correctly here so so morale boost does get a 20% damage boost. Uh, it looks like it goes up to 35%. And then puncture also receives a 20% damage boost and goes up to 100% in terms of effectiveness. Is it worth it if you have the skill books? Yes. But once again, looking at this from a player that's been playing since 1946, there's literally nothing appealing about this whatsoever because chances are I already have something equivalent or something very similar that I've already put my gems into. I've already got my trinkets, you know, nice and perfect on that Ashramon. I might have dumped some books into them already. So why would I get this Ashramon outside of the Astro Guide to use it when it's going to take forever for me to build it up and use it when I already have something equivalent, if not better? So, I mean, Dark Shahrazad's just another classic Dark Wave Clearer. We have plenty of those, I feel like, so it's nothing special in particular, which is a little bit bizarre because, what, she's at 32k, uh, 4k, and then 2.7k. And then we have this lovely guy over here, Gilgamesh, who has a little bit less HP. Um, his attack is slightly lower and defense is pretty much equivalent, but I would argue and say that his leader skill is better. And yes, he doesn't have um, morale boost, which... You guys know I'm a big morale boost fan, but he does have battle rush, so it kind of helps with some sustainability, and he's been around for forever. Like my casualty account, I have at least two dark Google meshes, not a flex. I literally have two of them. I'm sure other players have them, so why would a player hop from a dark Google mesh to the limited version, the limited uh, primal version of the uh, dark Shahrazad? 
it's basically the same as your mind at the end of the day. A little bit, I would say, depressing though, because this mod's supposed to be limited, which in my mind, limited should always mean something maybe unique or different. But in this case, it's limited with skill sets that aren't really game breakers. It's just limited version of Shahrazad, who's usually a defense-based mod that's now doing damage. And it's like, congratulations, so please spend your money to get this. All right, to sum it up here, so the Dark One's a wave clearer. Um, if you can get her to Evo 3, go for it, just because you may like her design. I'm not sure about her animation speed, but hey, go for it. If you already have wave clears, wouldn't really bother. You know, you may or may not have a choice in that whole thing. Uh, the Light One is a decent, especially offense mod with the whole shock and predator situation going on but once again there's already other substitutes that do exist so i mean picking it would be cool because it's something new and shiny but for a lot of people this may or may not be a game changer but if you do have the gems and you need an astromon like this 100 percent go for it dude 100 percent uh wood one we won't talk about the wood one that's just weird champ water one we don't talk about the water one and pretty much the fire one like I would be, I don't know, I feel I feel kind of opposed. Would I be happier pulling a light or dark version of her or the fire one at this point in time? Hmm. I'll leave that up for thought. But yeah, basically fire, light, or dark. rest of them just Evo 2 and feed to the other ones. And that's Shahrazad. Limited and definitely just not unique. But hey, that's all I got, you guys.